Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rintalian, and welcome back to Christmas Stories, the Nutcracker Collector's Edition, Part 2. That's a long title. <laughs> I won't have to do Collector's Edition again because I just forgot to mention it that last time. But at any rate, let's get into it. Oh yes, if my audio happens to corrupt, I apologize. There, This actually is an autosave style game. So there actually isn't much I can do if it corrupts. Oops. There we go. So yeah, it's not like Sept Escape where I could just restart the the level which I did the episode in. Oh yes, that's where you go. Ah, there you are. But on the flip side... Well, is isn't exactly a flip side in that regards, but I'm just trying to be positive here. Okay, that's upside down. So, yeah. Did I get the... Hmm. A little bit weird. I never noticed this all the other times I played this game, but the audio sounds a little weird. Actually, it sounds a bit creepy, to be perfectly honest. Hmm. Huh. Sounds a little off for Christmas style game, but what do I know? I wonder how I never noticed that before playing this game. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, so you're probably out on the water. Well, that explains why I couldn't figure out where you were. There we are. And you go here. And you go there. Very strange. Oh, yes. There are a few scenes in this game. Actually, now I think about it, I probably shouldn't mention that in detail. The spoilers. Moving on. Oh, yes, those were you wondering. Well, I noticed this when I did the audio edits later, but. I mentioned the cat the cat in the one little mini game last time saying I wonder if that's Fred when we ca came to that cat we rescued from the rats in that little stage show little puppet show and I mentioned I wonder if the cat that was imprisoned that the princess freed was Fred and I realized you probably have no idea who I'm talking about later Remember that blue cat who was chained to a, a sickle? I'm not a sickle, what am I saying? Okay, this is... Yes, that was correct, I think. Yes, correct, this was correct. This is all the way down to the bottom. That was two. Nope. I tried three for that one. So yes, that, that blue cat. That was Fred. Hands down, one of my favorite things about this game. Now this puzzle's a bit tedious. But we keep on going. That would have been cool to realize it worked that way earlier. And all the way back to the beginning. Well, that's how she rolls. At least I didn't have to guess, do any more guesswork, really. Oh, yes, there was no little red dots I had to do for that one. 
Well, shows how much I know. As long as I remember how the elevator ones go, I'm fine. And there we go! Done! Hidden object screen. Yes, it's an open lock, which is... Yeah, that's kind of how she rolls. And there you are. Open lock. Frog cup comb. Tongs dragon perfume. One thing I gotta say about hidden object games, playing them for so long, I found I now know the names of items that I didn't know previously, and I sometimes actually get odd looks because I actually know what an item is like. For example, Kleepers. I had no idea for the longest time what Kleepers were, and then thanks to a hidden object game I knew what exactly what Kleepers are. And I don't remember the exact circumstances, but it actually came up this one time. Someone was looking for Cleepers for a different game, and they had no idea what it is. I'm like, oh yeah, this is what Cleepers are. And I explained it to them, and I pointed out where it is, and they were like, how did you know that? It's like, I play these games all the time. Also, Things like tongs. You'd be surprised how many objects can qualify as tongs in a hidden object game. They get colorful. And some of them are so far off the mark at times, depending on the, how they do the game. I don't remember which game it was. It was this particular series that I enjoyed playing, but they really stretched the mark on what the item was. I didn't realize I actually finished the scissors. Whoops! Oh, I have all those now, though. Yes, hi, Fred. Poor Fred. I, I need something to saw through the chains first. Oh no, that's the hunting lodge key. And... which is right here. This is the hunting lodge. And I can get in here. So as I mentioned earlier, this is the collector's edition. An oil can. I'm trying to remember where I need an oil can for. Moving on. As such, there is a bonus ep... ep ah. Words! A bonus episode and I will be playing it just just so you know that will be uh, something I record ah that's what I need the oil for I was wondering for a second what, what do I need oil for couldn't remember and thank you for the rasp I needed that now to go free Fred Fred! Yes! <laughs> now the kitten is free, maybe they'll join me on my adventure! Also, hidden object games. The amount of ways you can use a single object is truly amazing. <laughs> Just Hello. Saying. Thanks for helping me. My name is Fred. My father was a rather famous rat hunter. He defeated whole armies of rats in his day. I'll live up to him someday, but for now, I'm still learning. But I'm happy to help you and the Nutcracker here. Fred is so cute! My favorite thing about this series is the fact... Kitty cats are a common thing. They, 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 they are a recurring thing. You usually see them... Every game, there's always like, these little, uh, little cats running around in some shape or fashion. They're not usually part of your party like this, but... It's fun! And cute. And I have... a file, which I can grab all these with. In my excitement to, uh, that I had Fred, I totally forgot to go get the other flower. Whoopsie! That's the one thing about playing a game over and over, and then doing a recording of it. It's 
like, I already know what's going on, I don't know where I have to go next. Or I generally know where I have to go next. And I totally skip over things a little, little too fast. Alrighty. So, this'll be interesting. Get him out of the snow. No? Oh, well, okay. Just leave him there to freeze for a bit. And I need two more of those. Alrighty. Oh! Collectible! That's six out of twenty-five. I know where that little handle goes. It goes all the way back here. And you put it like, yay. Click too fast, whoopsie. A silver bar. No? Okay. That needs a cups and utensils and I don't have any of that. So we go back here. Oh yes, this is where this goes. Blue. Oh, blue, wonderful. Didn't I need a paintbrush for that? I can't remember. It's always so random. There are some hidden object games and series where you just need the glue, and there's some where what are you trying to put glue on with your bare fingers for? Or just pour you can't just pour it. I'll just try it right away because I can't remember. Ah uh, yes. We're good. Oh nutcracker, I thought I lost you. I'm kind of surprised you can move that arm at all, because it's stuck on with glue. You'd think he wouldn't be able to move it. Well, that's a non-subtle hint to tell us where we need to go next. They went to the right. I think the princess, princess with them. No, really? This person is so calm about all this. I'm no engineer, but I bet this thing controls the bridge. Hello, Candle. I really wonder where Candle came from. That's not even a proper name, it's just Candle. Okay, I need another one of those. Okay, I need two items for that. And I need Fred. There you go, Fred. That was cool. I always love it when they give you little companions to help you. No? That's not what that's for? Okay. Let me... Give me a minute. I'm trying to remember where I'm supposed to go next. The map might help. Also may save times. Save times. Save time. Ba da ba. Are we sure? Gears. Okay, yeah, I need gears with you. I don't have any gears for that. I don't have any of the amulets I need for that. Oh. Another thing that's a problem, you kind of forget the obvious spots. You don't check as thoroughly because you're like, Oh, I know this spot, I know this spot, but I totally forget this spot. I totally don't check. That's one way to get rid of a rat. You go, Nutcracker. Take that, rat face. And that's what the lever is for. Boom. And there we go. Hey, 
you can't take that. Ah, uh, he's not listening. That's when gonna... I was a boy, oh. I loved to spend hours in the library, reading books about brave knights conquering magical worlds. I imagined I was the hero. As a girl, Mary loved to read too. Her favorite stories always had happy endings. One day we reached for the same book on the library shelf. As we chatted, we realized how much we had in common. She called me Prince, and I called her Princess, just like the characters in that book. I didn't know I had a rival in the form of a rat, as nasty as he was portly. He was watching us that day in the library, plotting how he could get merry for himself. Okay. This looks like a library. I love libraries. So do I. I uh, stray screw, I should take it. Well, I, I need something to grab it first. At least now I have uh, two gears, and that's collectible. I need that gear. There we go. I wouldn't call that locked, I'd call that gate down. I think you need, like, nippers or something. Or acid. Or who knows what, because really, the objects you need can really vary. Collectible, collectible. There was a collectible here, I think. No, I'm not seeing it. Hmm. Oh, there's another one. And there we go. And now I can make little stars. So that's silver, that's gold, and this is copper. For the record, I don't think they would look half that good. Ha, this is the exact way I would be uh, melting them down into the ingot. But again, an object game. Logic. Sometimes they're very logical in how the step by step process, and sometimes they're not. I mean, really, who counts the details in, on that, that level of details? Well, I've actually encountered a few hidden object games that do count those level of details. It's actually really cool when they do that, but at the same time, it can be frustrating. He's like, oh, I have all the items I need. No, I don't. Okay, okay. Okay, we know where the main part of the statue for... Collectible! Hi, puppers! By the way, this is really, really cool to a dog. Don't worry, puppers! I'll get another star. Well, another ingot. I see it, it's right on top. And that's why I have you! Oh, what a sweet puppers, not trying to attack the kitty. You're a good pupper. I wonder what kind of dog that is. Do any of you guys know? The kind of build makes me think of a greyhound. There we go. Actually, did it stay with them? Yeah, I, I, I put it in too soon. Makes me kind of wonder, though. Oh well. There you go, puppy! You're free! There you go! Oh, happy puppy. He wasn't a king then, but his obsession with Mary made him more ambitious than the average rodent. I was always there by Mary's side, standing in his way. He might have given up if it weren't for his discovery of a book of magic spells. He used it to create a magic staff and mount an army of rats. They declared him their king. Then, 
He turned me into a nutcracker and Mary into a doll. Yeah, you, you need a special duster to get rid of those things. Anyhow, well, that's a lot of progress for this episode. And because right now we've got Hit and Curtain Call. If you enjoyed the show, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Until then, that's it for me. Bye-bye!